Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discover how to configure a single Azure SQL database to avoid failures in case of a regional disaster or large scale outage. To be able to do that, I'm going to use a feature called Active Geo Replication. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about advanced analytics, machine learning, and cloud computing, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So to get started with my scenario, I need an Azure SQL database. So I click on plus, pick an Azure SQL database. I have to pick a subscription and resource group. I have already both, so that should work. And of course I have to give that database a name. Let me just call it DemoDB. And I have to create a logical SQL server. So let's create a new one. Pick in my case a server name. So let's call it Azure Step-by-Step -step SQL Server. But in this case, I want to have that in North Europe. So let's call it NE at the end. Select an admin login and a password and repeat that password. And of course, I have to pick a region. In my case, this should be North Europe. And I don't want to allow any Azure service to access that server. I would like to control that via the firewall. Let's click OK. No elastic pool at this point in time but I want to change the size of the server and just pick a standard small sized database. So to have that with 15 US dollars a month. Up next, I want to pick some sample data. So not restore backup, not an empty database, but some with some AdventureWorks data in there. Database collation is of course fixed in that case. And I don't want to start an advanced data security trial. And I don't want to set any tags. Last but not least, I'm going to review that and click Create. And the resource has been created. So let's go directly to the newly created resource. And here's my new database and the server name. Copy that so I don't have to type a lot. And the feature I'm referring to to do that is called G-Replication. So let's click on that. And I can pick any other region to provision. In my case, I want to use the West Europe region, for example. Let's go a little bit down and pick West Europe. And of course, I need there a second server. So let's create one, create a new server, call it. And that's the reason why I copied that. West Europe, again, specify a name and a password. Repeating that password, West Europe is already chosen. I don't want to let Azure services access that server directly. Click OK. And I, the pricing tier is also fine. It's just using the existing one of the database. So that's a zero, that's good. And I click OK. And again, it's deploying a new server with a replicated copy of that. And if I scroll a little bit up, I see that this is currently initializing. So let's wait a bit until this is done. Great, and now we are done. We have the first copy. I could, if I want, add further copies up to four. So I have more of those readable copies. So let me go to the secondary database. And I could, for example, force directly a failover. So let's do that. Perfect. And, um, and in about 30 seconds, it switched from an active North European database to a West Europe database. And the West Europe is now online again. And I can continue working with the West European database. Pretty much same story back. I can click on that force a fail over or stop the replication at all to remove that. Or as I said, pick another one, create another server. I hope you liked that short introduction. If yes, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions for further topics I could cover in those short Azure step-by-step -step videos, please let me know. Just add your ideas into the comments section and I'm looking forward to see you soon.